Hello. I have some explaining to do. I have had the worst month of this year. I was gonna say my life, that's, that's a lie. I, yeah, it's been, honestly, it took away all the fun that I had on my hen do. And it was like, here's a whole bunch of reality and shit that you have to deal with. So that was fun. YouTube took the back burner. It made me not want to post my Hindu vlog. So maybe I'll upload that after. Let me know if you guys want to see it. I'll upload it. But yeah. Life smacked me back to reality really fucking quick. As soon as I literally landed off the plane, it was like... We don't condone violence here. We do not. That's my address. I have a Uniqlo haul today. I spent a hefty amount of money. Let me see if I can cover. She's a big old dog. I'm gonna put this down because it's really bad on my mind. Now, Max and I have actually shopped in Uniqlo for years, but we've always shopped for him there. I remember buying thermals though, back in the day when they did a collaboration with Alex Alexander Wang. But that was in 20, I bought it before we went to Budapest, which is in 2019. So that was in like t late 2018, 2019. Um, the clothing back then just wasn't the best for women. I'm gonna sneeze. It just wasn't the best. It was definitely giving like mumsy sort of really simple, easy classic, like a lot of stripes, a lot of silhouettes that are a bit more just a bit more forgiving, a bit more for the older lady, in my opinion. I feel like over the years, it's definitely, the women's has definitely had a revamp and actually has some really good pieces. So I thought I would just do a haul of everything that I picked up. I'm not going to keep everything. I can't keep everything. We get married in like under a month, under a month? over a month we're gonna ballpark a month sorry we're gonna ballpark a month until we get married so i have still a lot of things to pay for and i can't spend 300 pounds in uniqlo mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's never right. at this point is it a haul if it doesn't contain a skirt or a pair of tailored trousers we have a pair of tailored trousers here. These are in a really dark olive green, like forest, I want to say more olive green, sort of forest green kind of style. These are the pleated wide trousers and I got these in a waist 26 to 27. These are small. They're looking rather small, but they are actually quite wide legged. So I'm hoping that these fit, but I love a tailored trouser. I don't really wear tailored trousers in the summertime, but for more into the winter time, and I've heard so many people rave about these pants. Yeah, I got these. Oh, they actually do say olive. Little baby olive over there. There is actually. Oh, I thought there was a stain on them then. There's not. So I got these in a size small, which is a waist 26 to 27. So a waist, a medium would be 28 to 29, I would assume. And these were £34.90 and these are the women's pleated wide leg trouser. Femme pantalon large. Yeah, just a really nice, simple, basic trouser. And I always get my tailored trousers from charity shops. So I'm hoping I can recommend these as an alternative for things that I have bought secondhand that you can't really obviously go and ahead and purchase. But I feel like these look and feel the same sort of quality that you would get from a vintage pair of tailor trousers. Just a really simple, easy pair of pants. They have a button and a little slidey little thing and a zip. I'm just worried that these are going to be way too small. I don't feel like they are my waist measurements, but maybe that is just me and my inability to ever buy anything my 
actual size because I buy everything 10 times too big. Purchased the exact same pair of pants in black. Unnecessary, I am aware. Completely unnecessary if they both don't fit me. But again, small waist, waist, small waist, twenty six to twenty seven, thirty four pounds ninety, and they do genuinely look exactly the same. Which sometimes you find that when you buy a different colour of the same pair of pants, they look different. Don't know what happens in the manufacturing process, but two pairs of pantalons. Now, my friend Charlotte must have some sort of plug or she literally pays rent inside Uniqlo, but she always finds the best things. And she was wearing these cargo pants the other day. I actually saw them on a TikTok before I saw her in them and they look so good. So I thought I'd give them a whirl. These are some green cargos. You guys know I love a cargo pants slash anything that is wide leg and baggy. I just never thought I'd be looking in Uniqlo for this sort of style. This is definitely giving more like Urban Outfitters type. Maybe even Zara would do something along these lines like Mango. But here we are again, small is waist 26 to 27. These are just in a classic green. These are more like a forest green, sort of fern green, I would call. Again, 34.90 and these are women, women wide cargos. Can I speak today? No. Well, I continue absolutely. Yeah, I'm liking the idea of these. Again, small is throwing me off because I actually would like them to sit further down. I don't want them to be super high waisted. You're an idiot. I bought two pairs of the black pants. So we're definitely sending something back. I then picked up these I guess these are linen, yeah, these are women linen blend wide leg trousers. So these are the linen blend version of, it's really funny, I was trashing the place. I was wearing this linen blend shirt on holiday and I said like, oh, it's probably linen blend. Like when everyone says something's linen, it's never really like linen. It's always like linen blend. So everything we would say would be like linen blend. It's linen. Do you know what I mean? So these are linen blend. Classic trousers, they're pretty much, they're literally the exact same style as the black and the green ones that I just previously showed. Again, the exact same size. They're a little bit more expensive for linen blend. You're not linen, you're linen blend. But these are 39.90. Why can't they just round up? Why must, why must you do the 90? I don't know what's more annoying, 99 or 90. I feel like it's 90. Like 3490 is really annoying. As is 3499. Let me know down in the comments which one annoys you most. <laughs> but yeah. Again, the exact same style as the other pair of pants. But linen and in a size small yet again. A lot of pair of pants here. A lot of pairs of pants. I have a slight addiction with trousers. I then picked up these white shorts. They were giving me low-key jorts vibes, but they're not as long as jorts, but I kind of wanted some white denim shorts. These are a waist 27, and these were 24.90, which is decent, I think. I want them to sit lower down. I'm a leg. I'm definitely not in my like high rise era of life. I'm definitely in my like, lower rise, baggier, boyish style of dressing at the moment. But yeah, these look like a really good pair of shorts. They kind of remind me of the Levi's pairs of shorts. A little bit more buttery than the Levi's pairs of shorts that I've had. But nonetheless, I actually really like these. And they're not, I don't like denim shorts on me because if you have a bum, you know that they're just so uncomfortable because they just don't look right or they high up or you have to have them high waisted and then super long in the length to fit you in and not feel like you're hanging out. So I'm going to give those a whirl. I think these are really cute. I'm going to style all these pieces over on my Instagram and on my TikTok. I'm actually loving TikTok way more, but maybe I'll do a little styling videos with these pieces as well for YouTube. We need to get the spark back. If you see Max, 
ever in your existence, he will be wearing a Uniqlo t-shirt. The Aerism t-shirts are his favourites. I actually have a very similar top to this from the brand called Because of Alice. My brain went... If you want to support a smaller business slash company, Because of Alice do basically the same grade t-shirts. They're amazing. Max always says to me like, are you wearing my Uniqlo t-shirt? I'm like, no, this is Because of Alice. But they are very similar if you wanted to get something from a smaller business rather than Uniqlo itself. But yeah, if you see Max, he's wearing one of these t-shirts in any colour form that they come in because this is literally his uniform. But yeah, I thought I would pick up the women's version. I swear they've never done a women's version before or I've never seen or picked up on it. But it is the Uniqlo U, so I think they are pretty unisex. But I picked this up in a size small. I lack t-shirts. I have 55 billion pairs of trousers and no t-shirts. That is something I need to work on. But here I am ordering three pairs of trousers and a pair of shorts and one t-shirt. The math is mathing. I also picked it up in the black colourway. I feel like the white colourway isn't as white as I thought it was going to be. Okay, it looks pretty white on camera, but it looks a bit more creamier in person. But again, I just thought the, these were really good basics to have. So these are a size small and they are 14 90 each, which I think is a decent price for such good quality t-shirts. The black one does feel better quality than the white one. I'm not sure why, because I think they are exactly the same thing. Oh, I got this in a size extra small, the black one in an extra small and the white one in a small. Don't ask me why, I have no justification. Do, 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 do. Oh no, there is a tiny bit of length, but I think it is mainly the amount of space and the width is kind of crazy. That doesn't make any sense because the extra small one then seems longer. We're not getting into it. We're not getting into it. Do you know what I used to do when I used to repackage any parcels that I used to return? I used to make sure that they were all back in the plastic containers that the containers? Plastic packaging that they came in and then back inside the big plastic bag and then sent it back. I do be in that case. Ooh. Then picked up, I'm definitely trying to get myself out of the idea that I can't wear certain things like dresses because it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, it makes me feel weird, it makes me feel like I'm not me. But I actually really like wearing dresses so I just need to find the dresses that I like on me enough to be like, I can make this chaise webs. Do you know what I mean? With a pair of trainers. But anyway, I bought this Aerism dress. It has pockets. Um, yeah, I don't really know much about it. I just liked the look of it. So this is Off-White, the shade. Not the brand. R.I.P. Size small, 24.90. And it's that Aerism. So it's meant to be the best, like, breathable fabric. So if you're a sweaty bay go for the aerism stuff it looks quite a feminine shape but i'm hoping that when i try this on especially having pockets doing it with a tote bag and then a pair of trainers or even the crossbody bags the green one that i have might look really nice with this again did i buy the exact same thing in a different color absolutely this is the exact same dress in the black. It is overexposing my video. Again, the exact same things. I did actually get it in a small. This is the black and 24.90. The exact same style and does have the pockets. This would be really sweet if you had a like wedding to go to. You could wear either colors. I feel like the color selection is quite good on this. There might even be a green which would be really sweet. I just feel like this is a really pretty style dress for the office 
not that I know what office wear is because I feel like I don't ever understand it. Hello. Do you have another white t-shirt? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. literally sits on any clothes that she possibly can that I have touched or been around or worn. It means she loves me. Thank you, lady. I knew that there was something off about the tone of this t-shirt. I don't know why I bought three. I probably will send this one back because I actually don't really enjoy the tone of this. I actually like a white white t-shirt, but we'll try it on and see. This is, I'm pretty sure they're the exact same t-shirt. I don't know why I got one in a small and the other two in extra smalls. This is an extra small. This one is a small. This one also is an extra small. I don't know. But that is the end of my Uniqlo haul. Let me know your favourite pieces down below. I will have everything linked and all the sizes and prices and everything down below. I will see you in my next one. Bye.